All right. Well, thanks, everyone. I guess I'll go first. Um, first, a little bit about myself. My name is Russell Heimlich, like the maneuver. Um, I'm the lead developer at Spirited Media. We're a local news startup. Uh, we have uh, newsrooms in Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, and Denver. And we love WordPress. We use WordPress as our CMS. Uh, our editors really love it. We also love AWS, obviously, which is why I'm here. Um, so first up, we'll, I'll describe a problem we ran into. Um, with any site, eventually we got to the point where we needed to have a redesign. And designers were moving things, tweaking things, changing layout. And they said, oh, yeah, we just need to you know, resize a couple of images. And I was like, oh, resize a couple of images. Well, um, in WordPress, when you upload an image, it generates all the image sizes right then and there. If you need to go back and switch that, you have to go through and recrunch all the images after you change the size. Um, so changing sizes is a big deal. You know, we're, we're in local news. We publish multiple stories a day. Sometimes those stories have multiple images. You do that for two years or so, and you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes of media. So the only way you could really do that is with a plugin like this, which, would you, which you use to regenerate the images. Um, we use a command line version, and we clicked go on multiple servers, and we let it run, and we waited for a little bit, and then three days later, all the images were resized and ready to go. Um, <laughs> So it's pretty obvious to us that we do not have time to sit around for three days and resize images whenever our designers want to tweak um, an image size, right? So what are we going to do? Um, so why do, pro do properly sized images even matter? Well, I had a whole bunch of reasons in the slides, but to fit under three minutes, I just summarized it with this tweet, which basically says um, the average size of a web page these days is about the same size as the um, install image of Doom, right? So, And a bulk of that is images, so the, the more you can... The less image size you get on a, on a web page, the, the better it'll be. Um, happy 25th anniversary of Doom, which was yesterday, which was really awesome. <laughs> um, so anyway, the solution, what does this have to do with AWS, right? So um, we leveraged Lambda Edge to come up with a solution to make our static, boring image URLs dynamic um, so that we could resize them on the fly. So this is kind of what it looks like. So in WordPress, we upload images. They end up in an S3 bucket. Um, when a visitor makes a request to an image, it goes through CloudFront. In CloudFront, we can set up some rules that say, hey, pass this request on to a Lambda function. Um, the Lambda function is some JavaScript that we use to, to create some logic for it to resize the image. Um, it can go to S3 and pick up a cached version if it's already been resized. Um, and it manipulates it and then, and then uh, serves the request that way so that we can dynamically resize images. Um, what that actually leads to is if this is your original image, um, we can just add some query string parameters to it, and then it'll automatically send back the right-sized image and cache it, and it'll be performant right after it's already converted all that. Um, and so now with things like source set, so in our markup, we can specify all kinds of different sizes that we need. We basically have an unlimited set because it, they're, all dynamic, they're all generated dynamically, so it's really great. Anytime a designer's like, we need to tweak an image even just a little bit, it's no big deal. We just change the markup, and we're good to go. Um, we did another redesign, and we brought on another partner, and this is a graph that just shows the, the total image size. We've been uh, logging it um, over, t over time, and you can kind of get a good, good glance of when our redesign happened. It was right there. Um, so this saved a ton and ton and ton of image uh, bandwidth because we were finally able to serve the right size image at the right time. Um, our solution is open source, so if you want to... You, you, it's not really tied to WordPress per se. You can um, get the Lambda function and, and set it up on your own. Um, so it's available there. because It's called Tachyon because it's a fork of another project that tried to do something similar. Um, and that's, that's my story. Thank you.